Dakota, what do you think? It's a good morning. Yeah, wind's blowing a little bit. Wind's blowing. You, you know, know fling, fling some air, fling some, uh, fling some steel. Arrows. Fling, fling some, some arrows. arrows. <laughs> yeah, that'll, fling some steel. that'll be impressive. Hey, if I could hit a duck out of the air with a bow and arrow, that'd be, that'd be an Let's just see if you can get one with a shotgun today. Well, we'll try that. We'll see. We'll see. All right, well, here we go. <laughs> it's still dark out. It's early. It's nice. We got to get on out there. Good morning. And go get it done. Seven fifteen. Okay. Seven fifteen. Dwayne's gonna be at. Oh, oh, that's wow. easy. <laughs> Let me introduce you to our Black Lab Dakota. Huh? <laughs> Coconut and holy cow, really? Some jerky, and we got all sorts of stuff. <laughs> Fantastic, we're gonna eat well. It's gonna be a good day. Mm -hmm. yeah, it is. Here we go down there. We got Rob Holman, Northwest Fishing Reports. Y'all recognize his mug, <laughs> yeah. yeah. And uh, Bobby Loomis, our buddy Max Lure. Morning, gilly gilly. yes, sir, gilly gilly. <laughs> and of course, our uh, honorable retriever. Dakota Foreman. Wait a second. There we go. <laughs> yeah. What do you think about getting in that kayak this morning? I prefer to be called a yellow lab. Oh, you're a yellow lab. <laughs> okay. <laughs> that works. Or, or a golden boy, golden retriever. How golden about that? Boy. Golden boy. Hey guys, the Wayne England Fish Out Northwest here on the water in the woods. Kind of a culmination of both, I'd say, on the water, kind of in the brush. Out here duck hunting potholes reservoir. Um, it's gonna be a good day. Weather's gonna be good. We've got a little breeze this morning. Sun's coming up. We've got Bobby Loomis sitting here, Rob Holman over there, and uh, Dakota doing multitasks, running camera, holding the light, fetching birds, paddling in a kayak, yellow lab as yellow he likes lab. to be referred to. Yeah. It's gonna be a good day. Golden boy. Golden, Golden boy. Golden boy. I'm bringing it to you shortly, so stick around. Wait for him. Wait for him. Bingo! Ah, yeah, I really hit at least two. <laughs> <laughs> I'm the best looking guy on TV in sport fishing. Really? You're, you're the best face for radio. That's what I've heard. <laughs> That's what I've heard. <laughs> on him. Three rounds. I haven't touched his, <laughs> so there's no gratuity. The group coming in at a bunch of them. Here we go. On the water. Hold on. Hold up. 
Not the first one though. Uh, it's still alive. <laughs> That's my bird. That's your bird. Yes, sir. You got a green head. I noticed. Another dollar, baby. Two for two. Two dollars for Dueno. Dueno being Shano. Oh, five coming in. Yep. Got a greenie. Got one. You got a greenie. Yeah. Where'd mine land? Over there. I got my first greenie! You gotta get those birds. Yeah. Guys, it's the uh, it's the middle of the afternoon. We're about done for the day, but because we get out here so early in the morning and it's dark, it's hard to pin Shelby down and actually talk to him about Ross Outdoor Adventures and the potholes, duck taxi, and all that's going on out here. So we're gonna take a few minutes this afternoon as we're winding down on our hunt and kind of pick Shelby's brain on everything he has going on out here. Now, Shelby, you had a busy weekend. Uh, we decided to come over with a few guys that we typically hunt with. And you said, well, we're good to go. I just need to drop you off in a blind. You'll be set up and you're on your own. And I was like, okay, great. I'm a butcher at duck calling, but we get by. We had Bobby Loomis here with us yesterday. He does pretty well. We don't have a dog, but we have Dakota. So, <laughs> and we have a kayak. 
talk a little bit about uh, folks that may want to come out and experience this via Potholes Reservoir and your operation and and exactly what they would be in store for if they if they want if they choose to do this type of an opportunity what are they what are they looking at so uh, we offer uh, both guided and non-guided hunts mm -hmm. the duck taxi has been in operation since the 50s right here on Potholes Reservoir and uh, so the guided hunt is just kind of what it sounds like mm -hmm. fully professional guide his retriever mm -hmm. uh, cook you a really nice duck kebab lunch right and uh, Pretty simple. Show up at uh, you know an hour before shoot at the mm -hmm. dock. Mm -hmm. Everything's set up. Mm -hmm. Step into the blind. Load your gun. Have a great time. Then the non-guided option is uh, we uh, set you up in a blind like you guys did here right. today. Mm -hmm. Set you up in a blind. Your decoys are already set for you. Leave your kayak to route and get your ducks. Mm -hmm. A lot of guys don't have dogs. Yep. You Unless have you have bring a dog. a dog, right? You can bring you a dog. They still get a kayak because if you need to chase a cripple, oh, there you, you go. need to move some decoys or something. Gotcha. So, okay. So all the non-guided groups get uh, kayaks. Yep. And uh, it, they're pretty handy. Marsh rats, stable. Yeah. Life vest. And as long as it's not too windy, they're uh, They do well. Great. Yeah. Yeah. No, we used it a lot. Uh, Dakota retrieved at least 30 or so ducks for us. <clears throat> and he's very good at it. He brings them back, drops them, doesn't <laughs> doesn't hold on to them too long, right? That's all. Uh, soft mouth. Yeah, soft mouth. Doesn't destroy him. Was at the door ready to go this morning, so I fed him, and you know he got plenty of sleep. So he was he's good to go. Uh, you're right. Those kayaks are stable. You don't have to be an expert at kayaking to utilize these little uh, these little uh, vessels to get out there. And they work really well, and you, you kind of gauge it on if your ducks are just going to float out there for a little bit, great. If we got quite a bit of wind going, and you see them things going on a pretty long drift, it's kind of, well, how far do you want to chase your ducks, right? Yes. Get out there. But again, if you got a bunch of birds coming in too, it's that 9, 10 o'clock hour and things are really crashing, you got to kind of wait, go get your duck. So you, you find balance, you figure it out. But the fully guided option is great. Um, you know, we went live today on, uh, on Facebook during our morning hunt for about an hour 45 minutes or so and I had a number of inquiries from folks how much experience do you need you know can I come out there and do this as a novice what's the best way to go about it how do I get a hold of them um, so uh, you can be a novice you can come out here and book a trip with you through Ross Outdoor Adventures um, and kind of get it under your I was gonna say under your wings but you know try to try to get some time in the blind understand shooting, understand how ducks come in, work with you or one of your guides in the calling realm and how that all works. And then once you want to take that on yourself, you don't need a ton of experience, but it helps to have a little bit. Don't yeah, you no, just, just a few of the, uh, a lot of groups will go do a guided hunt once or twice, yep. get the, the way of the, of the land and yep. uh, they're off and running. And, right. Uh, and a lot of people are intimidated by the duck calling and uh, they kind of have a, a little bit different take than a lot of people. Mm -hmm. If you have ducks at a distance that aren't coming towards you, mm -hmm. anything you can do to get their attention is fair game. Right. So everybody in the blind should have a duck call and you can absolutely scream at them to get their attention. Mm -hmm. Now, when they turn towards you and are, are coming towards you, then it's time to tone it way, way down. Right. And, and uh, so just as important the calling is knowing when not to call. Right. And that comes with time. You know, I'm a novice duck caller been hunting waterfowl for a few years now getting a little better at it but it's not about coming out here feeling like you need to be the expert you come out here just to relax and enjoy and learn new experiences and then gain each year you come out here you gain a little bit you know you get better and better and that's what it's all about so <clears throat> for folks that want to come out and either jump in on a, on a guided trip or do the self-guided the drop off via the duck taxi what's the best way for them to get a hold of you uh my website is uh, rossoutdooradventures.com. Uh, to make a reservation, they actually call Mardon Resort, 509-346-2651. Mm -hmm. And they can call me with any questions and I can fill in the blanks or send me an email, it's on the, it's on the website and uh, we'll uh, put it together. But it's been uh, definitely the year of the rookie. I've had dozens and dozens of groups who've right. either never duck hunted or never hunted, period. Mm -hmm. And now with the, the hunter safety is all online now. Right, good point. And, uh, so get the hunter safety done, go to the range and get a couple hundred rounds under their belt so they know mm -hmm. how the gun functions and uh, they can come out and shoot ducks. Perfect. 
Well, there you go. Get a hold of Shelby Ross. He's going to hook you up. You're going to have a fantastic experience as we did and always do when we come out here for a couple days. And don't be afraid to book a couple days, especially if you drive from the west side or out of state. Come join you here. You know what? you got accommodations you can help them out with. They had options to stay at the Mardon, uh, Mardon Resort there at the different uh, levels of cabins or whatever. So accommodations, restaurant, it's all here. Well worth your time coming out. Shelby, can't thank you enough, enough buddy. Great to have you guys here. Yeah. All yeah. Right. Season's winding down, but you still got time. All right, that's going to do it for us. We'll uh, we'll jump out for a quick break. We'll see you back here in studio.